Recently, we heard from someone who owns a Microsoft Surface, and they wanted us to know what happened one day when they left it on top of their car. They forgot they left it up there, drove off, it fell off, and landed in a very busy street. What happens next just might surprise you. Nothing happened, no damage, and I can't believe it actually still worked. So that surprised me because I thought for sure the thing would have been broken. But that's why we're here at the Microsoft Reliability Lab. It is a secret lab, no windows, no signs, can't even tell you where we're at. But I'm going to give you a look inside to meet the people who try to break these things every day. This is by far one of the most secret buildings that we have on campus. We control our access to this building very, very heavily. We have testing going on that we do not let the, the public know about. You know, I think about this facility kind of like a medieval dungeon where each room has a device that's a torture chamber with a different torture in each one. You know, in some they're being dropped, in others they're being put through extreme temperatures. Um, I think I'd be pretty frightened if I was a device and I was in this building. Here in Microsoft Reliability Labs, testing hardware, trying to make it break. I get paid for breaking stuff. We have hundreds and hundreds of units that come off the production line strictly for the purpose of testing. We break these units, we smash them, we vibrate them, we destroy them to find out where the stress limits are and make sure that the units making it to the field are performing within those ranges. We have roughly about 30 to 35 kinds of tests. Environmental tests, mechanical tests, and life tests. We try to simulate the same thing that can happen in four or five years. We try to do that in three to four weeks. We keep hitting the buttons a million times, moving the kickstand for the surface multiple amount of times. We subject our devices from a low temperature to high temperature and we cycle that through multiple cycles so that we make sure that the device doesn't fail. My favorite test would have to be the drop tester. It is something that everybody does to their device at one point or another. It's nice to know that your device can take a tumble like that and survive. So with, with our testing here with the drop tests, we can say with confidence our device will survive that sort of a drop. And to me, it's just fascinating to see a unit experience those forces and pick it up and it still works just fine. It's extremely important that we get that uh, knowledge in-house before these products go into the customer's hands. You may not know this, but Microsoft's been making hardware for 30 years. We actually started with a mouse and then we've made keyboards, we've made uh, headsets, webcams, and a whole variety of other products, not to mention the Xbox. But Surface was really the first time we were making a PC, a tablet PC, and as such, it was super important to put it through its paces, and that's why facilities like this are so important to us. And that brings us all the way back to the beginning. It's not so hard anymore to imagine the Surface surviving a little fall on the road now, is it? All right, gotta go. Thanks for watching. Check us out next time and see what's up on the whiteboard. I'm Pamela Wu. Time to roll out.